Good evening and welcome to the Kalyani Stadium as it hosts the Northeast Derby between Trao and Aizol FC. It's the last game of the day and it's already been an incredible day of Hero I League football as we see Nanda Kumar Singh and the Trao side. There are big games, there are huge games and then... Pamis wins the header, but it's played straight back to Milan, who goes for Krishnananda, who uses his space, Krishnananda has got the better there, he's laid it off, and that is a goal for Trao, they have opened the scoring, and it is Salam Johnson Singh, who gets his name on the score sheet, and how much he is, has deserved that goal over the season, he finally gets it, but it was all about Krishnananda, who ran past Malori and put it on a platter. Nanda Kumar Singh would be wanting create chances and take them. And that is what has happened in the 13th minute. They take the lead and they score a goal number 13 of the season. Shot comes in from distance. Bishol Jeet takes it nicely. It's Fernandinho! I think it just flick the crossbar that is what he is Samuel with the corner for as all he's put it quite deep it's been missed by everyone will be kept alive though Joseph plays it inside and that is a great touch by Fayaz just before Jacob could get something on it Fayaz was there and I think another corner Egmavia takes it again this one is even higher and it's missed by everyone Joseph has it. It looks like he is brought down, but no foul, says referee. It's gone straight to Fernandinho. This could be a chance now for Chow on the counter. Johnson is one on one. He's got the pedal of the defender and he's put it wide. Oh my goodness. Johnson cannot believe that he has put that. Good move from Joseph. He will keep going, even though Samuel brought him down. He did touch his hand, but. There's no foul. Krishnananda to Fayaz, who will cross it first time. It's missed by Kalandarov and then it's put over the top by Fernandinho. And the both. Possession just going towards Aizol a little bit more. That's a great ball from Samuel and a good header from Jacob. Roger with a nice ball. He's fed in Johnson. This could be a chance for Chao Fernandinho is there. And Johnson has forced Mwansanga to make a good save. It looks like that is going to be a foul from Primus. And it was inside the box. So will it be a penalty? Heldar holds his nerve and puts Chao two goals to the good. And that should be that for the what with Fayaz and Krishnananda and now even Johnson coming towards that side it's not been easy for him Johnson looks for the ball in and that is hit the cross rather the post by Felkima here is Fernandinho to Joseph a lot of space here for him he puts it inside it's missed by everyone Milan will keep it in play and does well to turn that's a good touch and this could be the chance for Chao to bury the game. What a save by Muan Sanga. He'll have to wait for it and work for it again. Krishnananda Fernandinho with a good touch. It's been left by Felkima and now it's been left and that could be a push for Malori. Oh, it's all happening there. Joseph will play it inside. Fernandinho plays it backwards and somehow Chao have not scored that one. Naresh has it, plays it inside. Milan with a loose touch. Still holds on to the ball and he's been beaten to it now. Aizol have a lot of space. This could be a chance for them. Chunga has it. Willis Plaza is there in the center. But he finds Bishorjit off the game and it is Fernandinho to take it. Plays it short. Naresh will change the angle and put this ball in. The header comes from Kangam who has been superb since he's come on 
one of the worst feelings in professional football. As Fernandinho plays this towards Krishnanda, he's got some space, he plays it inside. And somehow, it hasn't gone into the post. But Good many of them have been swung their way. They keep pushing though. This will fall to Nkenga, he plays it towards Plaza, who could not shoot, it does go to Dika. Back to Plaza, to Samuel, who's done well to get the better of the challenge, but has played it straight to Pishorjit. Nicely done by him. Both made eight appearances for Chow this season. It's another good move. Japes has it. He's played it inside and Kanga Moram has put it over the top. In fact, it didn't go to him. It was Robert Primus Jr. Here is Joseph. As we see six minutes on the clock, Joseph takes a shot. It's straight to Mwan Sangha who's made some good saves today. And that is the full time whistle. It is Derby Delight for Chow and they will not be in the relegation fight. They defeat Azol by two goals to nil in the Northeast Derby. Bishojit and Co get another clean sheet. Mwan Sangha did a good job but could not do much about the goal.